hello everyone uh, good evening so sorry i'm just shooting this video after uh, uh, 10 12 days i was really occupied with my work and i had not uh, any chance to make any video but i'm really sorry but as i have promised i'll be covering all the azure data factory data flows uh, azure data bricks everything so it is a continuous process and it will take time so i just request you to please stay with my videos and watch it you will get everything here so in this video in the last video what i have covered just quick, quickly i'm telling you in the last two data factory video i have told you the intro part of data factory and the data set uh, creation so in this video i'm just going to tell you what is the uh, copy activity and how you can copy data from one place to other places and basically why copy activity is getting used and what exactly it is so in the uh, all your azure uh, journey copy activity are you are going to use in for so many times so let quickly come to our resources what resources we have met we have a uh, made different different resources there is a key vault guys so i will uh, not cover it but i will cover it later so we have created two storage account one is blob and one is adls one is uh, data factory so the requirement is like uh, you will open the blob okay and you will go to container you will see the landing landing folder inside the landing there is one file order.csv so we have to do we have to copy this uh, file from blob to adls there is adls let me show you uh, if you got confused you can see hierarchical namespace is enabled and i have discussed if hierarchical namespace is enabled that is the adls and you can see that is a data lake storage okay but if you will come to blob once you will click on the blob you will see it is blob services okay so no worries right so what we have to do we have to file present in a blob a blob and we need to copy that file to adls so suppose this is empty so inside that there would be let make one folder here uh out with name output okay let me quickly create it come to the data factory as you know how to open it in the their video i have told it so there is a csp data set present okay and what we have to do we need to make a pipeline pipeline it is empty right here you can see zero if it is nothing present then it will show zero so let me quickly create one pipeline uh, just make a uh, habit like you give a proper name so i'm just uh, making it a sorry yeah exercise one and here you can there are many options guys so uh, what we have to do there are many things and the data engineering uh, perspective there these two things are most important copy and data flow so data flow i'll be covering when i'll be covering the data flow but my requirement is like i need to copy first so i'll just uh, drag and drop this copy data and uh, here we can see lot of option present sourcing general mapping sync user properties so we'll go one by one so source is nothing but it will represent the source uh, site what is the things present over source site so for the source site we have already created a data set right so what we have to do we have to uh, select the data set and inside the data set only we have uh, selected the part so just go to preview data and inside the preview data you would be able to see okay it's a fail so let us quickly uh, we'll see it why it is getting failed but uh, no worries so here you can see enable parse and discovery max count skip lines additional columns there is a column like while copying also you want just want to add extra column so that is uh, the approach we'll be covering in the copy activity part two but as of now i'm just going to tell you like how you can uh, uh, copy the file from blob to adls so let me quickly go to data set why it was uh, failing and uh, go go to browse okay so it is telling the blob operation field container name path remote server and okay, why it is coming retry okay 
ओके इज देर लिंक सर्विस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ ये ब्लॉक सर्विसेस फ्रॉम ए जियो सब्सक्रिप्शन लेट मी फिक्स इट लेट मी क्लिक द ब्लॉग लोडिंग ऑफ लाइफ समटाइम्स इट हैपेंस ओके सो यू नीड टू चेक द कनेक्शन वाई इट इज नॉट वर्किंग सो इट शुड वर्क नाउ एंड क्विकली गो टू डेटा सेट एंड नाउ या नाउ इट इज कमिंग राइट सो वी हैव लैंडिंग वी हैव दिस फाइल प्रेजेंट इन द लैंडिंग एंड क्विकली गो टू द प्रीव्यू ऑफ डेटा सो यू कैन सी डेटा इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग दैट्स गुड क्विकली सेविंग इट लेट्स कम टू आवर पाइपलाइन सो we have renamed right this pipeline and so also what you are copying so you just name name it here give the name like this so it would be easier easier to understand the person who are seeing this pipeline so with the name only he would be able to recognize it what exactly this pipeline is copying blob data to uh, adls okay so um now you can select it now here you see the preview data now it is coming perfect so we have selected it and we have already given the path so i uh, these things i have already explained the go to the sync for the sync na that we have to create another data set that is data set we have created for blob now we have to create data set for adls gen2 so quickly uh, search adls here okay okay adls not coming search uh, gen2 you will see the gen2 blob services so what file type we want we want a uh, delimited text there is uh, uh, this type of file present you can see is uh, parquet org binary json delimited text so here you select it and just give uh, the name here uh, this is the data set so you just give data ds underscore uh, adls blog um adls data hey, yeah you just give adls it will i guess it is fine link services for blob it was there we need to create other link services but don't worry guys there will be automated process like we can uh, parameterize it so uh, nothing to worry we can choose adls we need to choose adls just create it uh, okay so just fine now we do not need to i mean we here we do not need to give part so click first row as a header and just save it so just select csv okay and in the data set uh, yeah obviously we need to give the path so we'll go to data set and uh, file system would be uh, output we have chosen right output okay. so inside the output folder it is going to uh, copy your data so let me quickly go to our first step so looks like everything is fine and it will copy so just go to debug here okay. and let's see if you are able to execute it or not it is in progress here you can see it succeeded so here in the beautiful thing is copy activity na these two arrows it is for input it is taking input you can see here source delimited and the, these things will come okay and uh, in the output you will see uh, these things are present and here you can see what exactly how much i mean row read and written you can see this much row read and this much row written reading from blob and writing it to adl agent so everything is present here so you just quickly need to just refresh this and you will see go to output and you can see order dot txt is present okay so no worries so what uh, exactly na this sync here you can see that's a default extension just save it it by default in the copy activity in the file extension it would be dot txt so let me delete this file let me delete this file and let me quickly rerun it yeah by default it would be dot txt 
but we can go to the sync here and we can go to the file extension and we can change the file as I already showed, shown you that I have deleted the previous file that was going to after saving it was dot txt let me go and quickly run it so just refresh it first it will go in queue and just refresh it will show in progress and you got you have seen this so got succeeded so congratulations we have uh, executed our first pipeline in azure data factory so these are details present so and quickly you will see here in the uh, here you can see this much row read written this much time taken this was the speed and these much details this file file size and all so quickly go to our output under this adls right quickly open it you can see this is adls only let's just go and you can see this out order.csp you can see the timing as well today only we have just copied it so this is uh, the video of copying the data from uh, blob to adls that's it for this video and thank you so much for uh, uh, watching it guys thanks a lot